Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to 12th grade. Maxima minima applications of derivatives. Prove that the least perimeter of the isosceles triangle in which a circle of radius r can be inscribed is 6 into root 3 into r. So we have to prove that the least perimeter of the isosceles triangle in which a circle of radius r can be inscribed is 6 into root 3 into r. So we have taken an isosceles triangle ABC in which AB equal to AC equal to length of A and BC equal to B. Now we know that if a circle is inscribed then now BE and CF and AD are angular bisectors yes in center is point of intersection of angular bisectors and we also know AB equal to AC so we will have angle theta by 2 here theta by 2 here theta by 2 here theta by 2 because angle ABC equal to angle ACB divided into two equal parts here and here okay now when we do angle sum property we will get this angle equal to 90 minus theta because we have 90 here we have theta here this will be 90 minus theta now what is the perimeter of isosceles triangle 2a plus b now what we will try to do we will leverage this angle and the radius we will try to find out a and b in terms of r and theta then we will differentiate the perimeter with respect to theta and find out the theta value once we know the theta value we can substitute and we can get perimeter equal to 6 into root 3 into r so let's write down what is perimeter p equal to p equal to 2a plus b now we'll try to find out what is a and b for that we'll consider first triangle c i d where this is i this is i we have triangle c i d in which we have tan theta by 2 is equal to opposite by adjacent that is r by p by 2 now from that can we say b equal to 2 r cot theta by 2 we got our b value now let's try to find out what is a value now let's go to triangle ADC we'll go to triangle ADC from there we know that sine of 90 minus theta sine of 90 minus theta is equal to we are talking about from here this is our opposite and this is hypotenuse so B by 2 by A so can we write it as B by 2 A or can I say that B equal to or we want A so can I write down A equal to B by 2 into secant theta now what is perimeter what we want is P P equal to 2 A plus B that means 2 into B by 2 into secant theta plus B that is equal to b into secant theta plus 1 but what is our b b equal to 2r cot theta by 2 so can i write down 2r cot theta by 2 into secant theta plus 1 what we need to prove we need to prove that we need to prove that least perimeter is 6 root 3r so let us do dp by d theta now so and we will equate it to 0 so we will have 2r into cot theta by 2 into secant theta plus 1 so let's do uv formula there we will have u that is cot theta by 2 into derivative of v that is secant theta derivative is secant theta tan theta plus u into v dash so we did that then v into u dash that is secant theta plus 1 v into u dash derivative of cot theta by 2 is minus cosecant square 
theta by 2 into 1 by 2. Now this whole thing we have to equate it to 0. So let's go to the next step. This step we will write down 2r into bracket start cot theta by 2 can be written as cos theta by 2 by sin theta by 2 into secant theta tan theta into secant theta into tan theta after that we have plus we have minus cosecant square theta so we can bring that minus here left out is secant theta plus 1 into cosecant square theta by 2 by 2 so can I write it as 1 by sin square theta by 2 into 1 by 2 now this is equal to 0 let us take 2 sin square theta by 2 out we will have 2r by 2 sin square theta by 2 then we will have when we take 2 sin square theta by 2 out we will have 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 into secant theta tan theta minus secant theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So what we have done? We have taken LCM of these two sin, sin theta by 2 2 sin square theta by 2 so we got 2 sin square theta by 2 out that means we have to multiply this numerator with 2 sin theta by 2 now what is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 that is nothing but sin theta sin theta into secant theta is sin theta by cos theta which is equal to tan theta so this becomes now sin theta secant theta tan theta or which is equal to tan square theta so let's go to the next step in the next step we will write down which is equal to r by sin square theta by 2 into sin theta secant theta multiply with tan theta minus of secant theta plus 1 is equal to 0 that is equal to r by sin square theta by 2 into now sin theta by cos theta is tan theta tan theta into tan theta is tan square theta minus of secant theta plus 1 is equal to 0 now how can we how can we write tan square theta we can write it as secant square theta minus 1 so shall I write down r by sin square theta by 2 into secant theta plus 1 into secant theta minus 1 minus of secant theta plus 1 is equal to 0 now can we take that secant theta plus 1 out so we will have r by sin square theta by 2 into secant theta plus 1 into secant theta minus 2 equal to 0 now we know that the way how the angle values can be now secant theta minus 2 equal to 0 that means secant theta equal to 2 is one option secant theta plus 1 is 0 that means secant theta equal to minus 1 is another option from this we know cos theta is minus 1 that is theta equal to 180 degrees ruled out because angle sum property all the angles should add up to 180 degrees theta cannot be 180 degrees now from here I know cos theta equal to 1 by 2 that means theta equal to 60 degrees which is equal to pi by 3 that means now this isosceles triangle became an equilateral triangle now we'll find out the perimeter by substituting 2 in 2a plus b that is 2r cot theta by 2 into 1 plus secant theta value of theta equal to pi by 3 now remember once we are done with that we have to prove that this is least perimeter that means we have to take this whatever we have here dp by d theta and we have to differentiate it one more time and we have to prove that when theta equal to pi by 3 the value is 
positive when it is positive it is minimum so let's go ahead and do the next step let's substitute now theta value so i'll write down p equal to 2a plus b that is equal to 2r cot theta by 2 into secant theta plus 1 now let us substitute 2r into cot theta by 2 that is cot pi by 3 by 2 that is cot pi by 6 into secant pi by secant theta that is secant pi by 3 plus 1 so let us substitute that will I have 2r into cot 30 degrees that is equal to root 3 into secant pi by 3 that is secant 60 degrees is 2 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so which is equal to 2 into 3 6 into r into root 3 r 6 root 3 r so we have we got that the perimeter is 6 root 3 r but we are not sure whether this is least perimeter or the maximum greatest perimeter to do that what you have to do if you remember what is the dp by d theta we got earlier we have to differentiate it one more time and we have to prove that it is minimum so we have dp by d theta equal to r by sin square theta by 2 into secant theta minus 2 into secant theta plus 1 what we will do now we will take this is u and this is v we will apply u by v formula so our next step will be we will be doing now d square p by d theta square so as part of that we'll take out the r out r we can bring it this side also or we can just keep it there now first we'll have v square that is sine to the power of 4 theta by 2 then we will have v into u dash that is sin square theta by 2 into u dash u dash will be we have to do again uv inside that so we will write down secant theta minus 2 into derivative of secant theta plus 1 that is secant theta tan theta then we will have this whole thing we have bracket here then plus next time secant theta derivative is secant theta minus 2 derivative is secant theta tan theta again we have secant theta plus 1 now this is actually v into u dash now once we go to the other term we will have 0 because we know secant theta minus 2 equal to 0 so secant theta equal to 2 so when we differentiate the next one the whole term will become 0 let me explain that again this is our v this is u this whole thing is u let me just try to separate that a little bit okay now this is our u and this is our v v square v into u dash this is it minus u into v dash that means this whole thing I have to multiply with derivative of this at that time we will substitute secant theta equal to 2 so the whole thing will become 0 now in this also where we have secant theta equal to 2 that term will become 0 so directly we will have our next step will be now we need to calculate this where we have theta equal to pi by 3 or secant theta equal to 2 so that will simplify to r into sin square theta by 2 into this whole term will become 0 left out is only this that is secant theta tan theta secant theta tan theta into secant theta plus 1 divided by sin to the power of 4 theta by 2 now we can simplify this we can see very clearly that this is positive because r into secant theta plus 1 is positive secant theta tan theta all are positive in first quadrant and in the denominator we have sin square theta by 2 when we simplify that is also positive so this whole value is positive 
that means the perimeter is list let me just explain what we have done here we got dp by d theta equal to r into secant theta minus 2 into secant theta plus 1 divided by sin square theta by 2 now we have to do d square p by d theta square and we have to substitute theta equal to pi by 3 there and we have to check whether the value is positive or negative value should be positive because it is least perimeter what we have to get now our u is secant theta minus 2 into secant theta plus 1 v is sin square theta by 2 we are applying u by v formula we have v square v into u dash this whole thing is u dash then minus u into v dash at that time minus u into v dash we did v into u dash minus u into v dash we know that when we do v dash u term as it is we will write down we substitute secant theta equal to 2 whole thing will become 0 not only that in the first term also this whole term will become 0 so left out is only this part so if you simplify that we see that everything is positive there secant theta tan theta sin square theta by 2 secant theta plus 1 everything is positive because theta is pi by 3 first quadrant we are in so second derivative is positive that means least perimeter we already proven that the perimeter equal to 6 root 3 r